गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल नेश भाई कर अतरव आई एम योर होस्ट एंड दोस्त अतरव एज यू ऑल नो एंड आई होप आपका क्वारंटाइन अच्छे से चल रहा होगा एंड अभी लॉकडाउन अभी थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ मई तक बढ़ा है सो so, आपको पता ही है सभी घर पे बैठे बहुत बोर हो रहा है सभी घर पे ही आराम और कुछ काम वगैरह चालू है ऑनलाइन लेक्चर्स वगैरह भी चालू मेरे एंड आई होप आप सब सेफ हो गए अपने अपने घर पर सो आई होप आपको आज का टाइटल और थंबनेल देख के पता चल ही गया होगा कि आज का वीडियो भी एक अलग वीडियो है हमारे चैनल पे सो so, आज मैं आपको डिटेल में बताने वाला हूँ जो नई बी की बाइक्स लॉन्च हुई है अभी रिसेंटली इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी दैट इज़ द बी एम डब्ल्यू एफ नाइन हंड्रेड आर एंड एफ नाइन हंड्रेड एक्स आर सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी फॉर द टाइम लेट्स बिगिन द वीडियो एंड अगर आप मेरे मुझे बहुत टाइम पहले से फॉलो कर रहे हो इंस्टाग्राम पे या व्हाट्सएप पे या फिर यूट्यूब पे सो आपको पता होगा कि बी की बाइक्स मेरी मोस्ट ऑफ द फेवरेट है और मेरी ड्रीम बाइक है सो so, अगर आपने मेरा नासिक वाला नासिक का बी वाला व्लॉग नहीं देखा है तो ऊपर आई बटन में लिंक होगा तो आप वहाँ पे जाके चेकआउट कर सकते हो और मेरी ड्रीम बाइक है द बी एम डब्ल्यू एफ सेवन फिफ्टी जी एस सो या विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर फॉर द टाइम लेट्स बिग इन द वीडियो एफ नाइन हंड्रेड आर इज़ अ नेकेड बाइक वाइल्ड द एफ नाइन हंड्रेड एक्स आर इज़ अ सेमी फेड बाइक और एंड यू कैन सी द एफ नाइन हंड्रेड आर इज अ नेकेड बीस्ट स्पोर्ट्स बाइक एंड द बी एम डब्ल्यू एफ नाइन हंड्रेड एक्स आर इज अ एडवेंचर स्पोर्ट्स टूर इन द सेगमेंट design uh, bike by the bmw i personally say adventure sports tour and by the design it is very much classic and awesome and it is the best looking bike i can say because i have seen all the bmw bikes in my real life and i first personally like the bmw gs 1250r and the second i like this one that is the bmw f900 xr in the adventure sports tour category that is the adv and it is the best looking advs i have ever seen have similar mechanical similarities they both come with 895 cc parallel twin engine and they got have many much similarities like they have got the adjustable rear suspension 100 are first in the detail the bmw f900 r has got the right amount of muscles from the roadster it has got a exposed fat engine fat rear tire along with the aggressive stance which gives it a solid road presence along with it has got contrast side panels along with the gold forks and the sculpted fuel tank adds it to the design and which makes it more aggressive and muscular and along with this it has got the dual crescent led headlamps in the front side which adds it to the design and which makes it more aggressive and muscular and makes it to the top and looks the bike more beautiful other functions like the cornering function then the by directional quick shifter which is the most advantageous features i ever feel and it is for the best feature in any bike you can see now which are coming in the 2020 and uh, it has a uh, rear adjustable suspension which you can electronically adjust from the tfp screen which has a mode button on the handlebar and it also has a bluetooth navigation system that is also an advantageous feature comes with a 895 cc two cylinder four valve dohc engine which produces 105 bhp at 8500 rpm and 92 newton meters of torque at 6500 rpm it also comes with the electronic fuel injection and water cooling function it has got a 211 kilos of curb weight along with the wheel weight of 1518 mm along with the 1100 30 mm of height along with the seat height of 815 mm it has also got a 6 speed transmission which is managed by multiple disc brake clutch it has got a massive 13 liters of fuel tank which gives mileage of 24 km per liter along with the reserve capacity of 3.5 liters and overall riding range when the full tank is there you can go up to 300 12 to 314 kilometers in the full tank and 
it has got a six speed manual transmission that is a six speed gearbox which is managed by the multiple disc wet clutch and uh, the front suspension is uh, upside down WP uh, 43 mm telescopic fork suspension and the rear is the casted aluminium swing arm along with aluminium swing arm along with the central spring strut spring preloaded electronically adjustable rear suspension which can be managed through the TFT screen by the mode button on the handlebar yeah for the safety purpose it has got a 320 millimeters of dual front disc brake and a 260 mm of single rear disc brake at the rear and uh, it has got a 17 inches of all wheels both front and the rear so in the front so in the front it has 120 is to 70 ZR17 front wheel and the rear it has got 180 is to 55 ZR17 rear wheel and it also comes with the low battery indicator low oil indicator and low fuel indicator along with the fuel gauge and tachometer and trip meter and minimum functions you can see that is a low tire pressure monitor also in the TFT screen so that was the detailed information about the BMW F900R now let's move on to the second bike that is my most favorite that is the BMW F900XR so let's see it in detail so on the other hand we have the BMW X900XR which is my most personal favorite as it is the proper adventure sport so it is meant to be right on tarmac that it is made for the long run like go to Ladakh and do off-road or just do the simple K2K ride that is uh, Kashmir to Kumari ride or just go to the uh, Bhutan or similar rides like this or go to Nepal Kathmandu and this is a perfect adventure sports ride in this price range as it also comes with different panels and different riding dynamics along with a taller ride height and taller seat along with heated grips and a uh, a bigger adjustable windscreen which makes it a proper adventure sports tour and it is bigger and wider than the F900XR there are some additional features on the F900XR which makes it a proper adventure sports tour as the F900R is just a naked sports bike but it is also the best and this is the best in the adventure sports tour category it also comes with the same 895cc of 2 valve 4 stroke 4 valve DOH engine which produces 105 bhp at 8500 rpm and 92 newton meters of torque at 6500 rpm it also has got a 15 liters of fuel tank which gives mileage of 24 kilometers per liter and uh, it also have the same reserve capacity of 3.3 liters to 3.5 liters and it also has a uh, overall riding range in the full tank it goes up to along 313 to 315 kilometers and it also has a uh, 212 kilos of curb weight along with the height of 1130 mm and the wheelbase is also the same like, like the F900R that is the 1518 mm and it has also got the seat height of 850 mm 900XR comes with a dual channel ABS, a 12 watt of charging socket to charge your phone while you are doing a long ride like going to the Ladakh or a K2K ride and it also has 4 riding modes that is the Rain, Road, Dynamic and Dynamic Pro so you can use it to according to the situation and enjoy your ride without any obstacle. And then it has an adjustable windshield as I already mentioned. Then it has also cruise control to cruise at high speeds on the highways. And along with it has a... Uh, it also has a 86 mm of bore and 76 mm of stroke. And it has a 6 speed transmission which is managed by the anti-hopping clutch. And both the bikes that is the BMW F900R and the F900XR have the similar features like the engine displacement cc chassis frame suspension and both comes with the upside down fork suspension that is a telescopic 43 mm uh, then it has both have the electronically uh, rear adjustable suspension and uh, they both have the same chassis same frame and same swing arm so it does not make any difference as they both are the twins but they both have their own characteristics that are different that vary from each other and makes the bike uh, different that makes them different but they are the most awesome and the preferable bikes as 
according to me so don't quote me you can uh, see the bikes so now let's get back again to the BMW F900 XR which has got some additional safety features over the F900 R that it has got steering stabilizer dynamic brake light along with the electronic immobilizer along with one piece seat bench and the gear shift assist pro that is the advanced and of most advantageous features that I feel and it has also got the automatic stability control so that were the features for the BMW F900 XR so this was the detailed features and the review about the not a review but you can say detailed information about the BMW F900 XR and the BMW F900 R so now let's talk about the some common things and the differences of the BMW F900 R and the XR so the common things in both the bikes are they are literally the twins with the different characteristics so the twins have got some same characteristics like they have got the same engine same uh, fuel capacity same sitting heights and uh, height uh, then ground clearance uh, wheelbase uh, chassis frame swing arm clutch brake lever that is the auto hopping or the multiple disc quick clutch and same front uh, two channel ABS and many more controls and the differences come in the both the bikes come with the TFT display instrument cluster in which you can uh, control the traction then cruise control and you can also have the ABS on and off along with you can choose the uh, different riding modes that I have already mentioned like rain, road, dynamic and dynamic pro uh, and uh, it has also the bluetooth infotainment smart connectivity system which can be controlled to the BMW or uh, smart bluetooth connectivity app from your smartphone in which you can get the overall analysis and statistics of the ride so now there are some differences in the seating height of the BMW F900R and the F900XR so the BMW F900R has got a seat height from 790mm to 870mm and it has also got the suspension differences that we will also discuss so the F900XR has also got the seat height options from 790mm to 865mm if you want a lower suspension in the BMW uh, F900R or XR that is also available that is in the uh, you can get it around uh, 750 mm of seat height in the lower suspension model for the XR or R uh, just contact with the BMW they will guide you now let's talk about the differences in the suspension for the BMW F900R and the BMW F900 XR so the most important part of the video that is the pricing of the bike so let's come first to the BMW F900R so it has got a X showroom price of 9,95,000 insurance of 15,480 RTO expenses around 39,600 and other miscellaneous expenses like the shipping or carrying charges will be around uh, 10,500 so the total on road price for the BMW F900R you should pay is around 10,55,000 let's talk about the pricing of the BMW F900 XR so the XR comes in two variants that is the standard and the pro so let's start with the standard version first so it comes with a showroom price tag of 10,50,000 and RT on insurance cost you around 1,14,484 rupees and other expenses will cost you around 10,500 so the on-road price goes to around 11 lakhs 74,684 rupees so now let's go on to the Pro version. So the pro version of the BMW F900 XR will come with a X showroom price tag of 11,50,000 along with RTO charges of 92,000. Insurance will cost you around 31,753 rupees along with the other expenses will cost you 11,500. So the bike will cost you on road price tag will go around 12,85,253 rupees. So the prices may vary for the X showroom 
because these are the prices of the actual room delhi so the prices may vary from state to state and uh, these are the three versions or the three models or uh, that is the f900 xr comes in only one version but the bmw f900 xr comes in two version that is a standard and the pro so uh, this was all the detailed video and information that i gave you about the bmw f900 r and the bmw f900 xr so i hope you guys like this today's vlog and you found it very informative so i hope it was very informative to you and you love the video so if you like this today's vlog then don't forget to hit the like button comment on the video share this video and if you are new on the channel then don't forget to subscribe on my channel that is the nice biker atharva by clicking the beautiful red subscribe button that is below the right hand side of the video you can see it and then press the ghanta so you will never miss the upcoming updates of my new videos on this channel about the detailed information of the upcoming new bikes and cars and uh, much more on this channel along with my lifestyle and travel vlogs so i hope you like this video so till then shabakir bye bye milte hain next vlog mein till then stay tuned guys